very nice hole. Oh lord. Okay, big jump. My legs are... My legs aren't long enough. At this point in the video, you're probably wondering, where is the voiceover? Well, here it is. Due to the climbing involved and the rivers you have to cross, I would definitely recommend wearing some good footwear. Comfortable, maybe some hiking boots, something waterproof. I actually wore waterproof trainers, so make sure you're not wearing flip-flops, platform shoes, or flippers. You know, just make sure it's appropriate. Parking was easy. There was plenty of parking spaces. I would say bring cash because you have to pay for parking. It was like three pound, I think, to park a car for an hour. So bring your money. I couldn't dig up too much lore in the fairy pools. I'm assuming the name is due to the fact that the place looks so magical and mystical that it looked like fairies may live there. The folklore in Sky involves a lot of fairies, so some old culture probably saw this place and was like, yep, fairies definitely live here and named it the fairy pools. I should honestly become a historian. So stop bloody littering, you turds. You'll notice in the video that it's raining. This is a good time to go. Like, don't be scared to put on a coat and go when it's raining or when the weather isn't completely perfect. Because as soon as it started raining, everyone started to leave. They started to run to their cars like they'd never seen rain before. They were running. They were gone. In like 20 minutes of it raining, it had gone from being super busy to pretty quiet. It went from having 20 people in your pictures to about three. So that's great.
car park. be thinking, is it illegal for them to drive on that footpath? Well, I'm here to tell you that this is actually a road, so if you have a large caravan or a large vehicle, then good luck getting to Nice Point. <laughs> what you see here was a winch used to bring supplies down the cliff, I don't know how to say this, Nice, Nice Point Lighthouse was built in the 1900s and is iconic. It is still used to this day and the views around here are amazing. We did not actually walk up to the lighthouse though because the wind was unbearable. As you can probably notice, I couldn't even hold my camera still. I couldn't hold myself still. It was, yeah. We kind of got the good view from the top and then had to leave, which is unfortunate because it was a 30 minute to an hour drive. Your old boy seems to have stolen my camera and decided to walk around with it. Dunvegan Castle. It's not owned by vegans and it has nothing to do with vegans. I just want to clear that up right now. The building you see here was originally built in the 13th century and parts were added over the centuries following that. Just to go back in reference to the fairy pools, there's actually one tower called the Fairy Tower. I told you they liked fairies. The castle is also home to an artifact known as the Fairy Flag, which is an old flag that, reading up on it, it seems there's Viking, the Crusades, the Far East, no one really knows where it originated. Another fairy-based lore for you right here. Dunvegan Castle didn't allow photography inside because it's actually still inhabited. It is the oldest continuously inhabited castle in Scotland and it's been inhabited by the MacLeod clan for around 800 years. Wow. Tree is a relatively young town. It was only built around 200 years ago. It has a population of around 5,000. Or tree actually means King's Port in Gaelic. There is actually a reference to Portree in the Harry Potter series, a Quidditch team actually, known as the Pride of Portree.
next week's vlog is definitely going to be good for those Harry Potter fans. We visit the waterfall that was featured in multiple Harry Potter movies, and we actually see the Hogwarts Express going over a viaduct that was used in the movies. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button or check out my Patreon if you would like more content. Videos are weekly, so look out for the next video next week. Bye!